Um, okay, so in the last video of some Nautica below zero that I did, well, it's a solicitor at one. E um, no, I didn't actually go meet it. Um, well, I did with the drone, but I didn't go personally see it. But um, what we're working kind of towards is this: the therm the prawn suit thermal reactor. So now I've got everything else I need apart from the polyalanilate. Oh, who knows? Like, who actually knows? Like, you've got a wiring kit, and then like this, like whatever the poly like what? There's, there's no. Uh, oh, who knows? Um, I'm gonna quickly take the um, what the thingy? What's it called? Uh, solar panel off the uh, pinned recipes. So, what I need for the poly stuff is so I need gold and hydrochloric acid. For hydrochloric acid, I need the young cotton anemone. Um, and there's one only one place in the entire map where you can get that. Um, and it is underneath uh, the lily pads biome, as everything else is. Uh, oh wow, that's low health. Um, get you repaired. Huh? Uh, done. There we go. Right. Um, how much food do I have? Ah, I see. The usual. Almost none. Okay. Uh, I'm going to grab this hoop fish right here. Uh, I'm gonna make it cured, and then I just need to go grab a bunch of bladder fish uh, for water while I'm there. And I think there might be one more. Oh no, it's not. Okay. And then that's cooked. I need the cured. Um, I actually don't think I. Do. Whatever. I'll just cook it. Who cares? I have a munch on it now. Uh, and then we need to go grab this uh, hydrochloric acid stuff, also known as the young cotton anemone. Um, the something I might actually be able to do, as well, is, uh, might be able to grow it in these grow beds, uh, over here. So I might just only have to go there on there, like, once, ever, to go get it, or go get the young cotton anemones, as I can, as I could, I don't know if it's true, but I, I could be able to, um, just grow them in my farm, but not so Oh, okay, I damaged that a lot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Those things have, like, no health, do they? 48? Okay. Jeez. Um, there goes, like, half the power of my uh, repair tool, then, by the looks of things. Wow, that took a while. Um, I think the back one is slightly damaged. Uh, that one's fine. And, yeah, that one's at 90. Probably because like, whenever I try and get the prawn suit on it, it uh, kind of fails. But, uh, what can I make in? Oh, it's just like the upgrades. Um, I think I do actually have every arm in the game. Benazine? Actually, yeah, what do you need for Benazine? Uh, going all the way back up. Benazine is uh, probably in a, yeah, that's serious. a flowering spore. Oh, I remember seeing those somewhere. I can't remember where they are though. Uh, they might, they might be in the um thingies. Uh, what's it called? Ooh, gosh. Okay, I didn't realise I had stuff in here. Uh, right. Okay. So I'm gonna go put them away quickly. But actually, something I need to do is make a quartz locker. Actually, so if I just grab to titanium quickly and I'm gonna quickly make a locker for quartz because today I'm hopefully gonna get a lot more quartz really than I have currently because right now I don't have a huge amount of it and that is great and then the magnetite goes in here fine nice that's good uh, so now I just need to head back all the way back down to my prawn suit which for some reason I parked in there, even though I really should park it in there. Uh, but quickly, what I'm going to do is not go on that side and you can't jump over it, which is quite annoying actually. Uh, but we're going to take out the propulsion cam and we're going to put it in storage, like so. Right. So we're going to go to this young cotton anemone area. 
So, hop in the truck. Now it is underneath the. Um, it's like it's in the lily pads biome, but it's pretty far in the lily pads biome. Um, that's the only thing that is like mm, about it. Oh wait, there's the Arctic Ray that I fired. It's now over here, and it doesn't actually know what's up, like at all. But anyway, just heading across now to the lily pads biome, which, to be honest, I've done a lot. I've done a lot of just travelling back and forth, back and forth between my base and the lily pads biome. And to be honest, I probably should make a little uh, sort of like stop base. So like, if I want to craft anything, if I want to sleep, if I want to dump some items, like all that stuff. Just so I can like have a sort of, don't have to go constantly back and forth and back and forth. But I'm not going to build that today. I'll probably build like loads of bases in one episode. Um, I renamed that base from Sandbox here, yeah, what it is now, to like main base probably. Um, and then all the other ones like lily pads, uh, base, uh, crystal caverns base. Which there is one down there at the moment actually. So that is, that's technically already built. Um, uh, I don't know about like, all those kind of stuff. So we're just entering the lily pads biome now. So I actually don't know the exact location of where I do need to go. Um, which isn't great, because it'd be good if I didn't know exactly where I was going. But sadly, I don't. So, kind of just go in here and hopefully I'll find it. So there's the pilot last known location. Um, I've already been in, like, all of these caves just over and over and over and over. Like, it's, it's traumatizing, really. Um. It's somewhere at the bottom of one of these like huge caverns. It might be this. I think it is this. Alright, let's see then. We'll go down and if when we reach about four hundred meters down, we should start to see some like white uh like yeah, yeah, it's turning red, yeah, this is it, this is it, this is it. Okay. I strongly sense my people's technology nearby. A body component is near. Uh, yeah, Alan, right. Okay. So, oh, there's a flowering spore. Just floating. Yeah, that's a flowering spore, I think. I think half the stuff in here hasn't rendered in properly, I don't think. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, look there. There we go. They're the young cotton anemones. There, they're big ones. But I've never actually been in here fully, really. But this place is really, really weird. Um, what the? Yeah, there's like titanium outcrops, all that. Okay. Some weird music as well. But just to double check, these are definitely, yeah, flowering spore. So I'll definitely need these for benazine. I don't know how much benazine I'll actually need for, like, loads of other stuff. But, anyway, I'm going to hop in the prawn and I'm going to grab a ton of these. But also, I want to grab these young cotton anemones. I'm going to quickly have a scanner lamb. And yes, give me all of you. Right, actually, I want to quickly test. If I hit this, yes, you can grow them. Good. Right, I'll grab one of them then. Because I definitely want to grow them. Since I never, been, I just never want to come back down here ever again. Uh, how much? How much? Ooh, I've got a lot actually. Um. Um. If I see any outcrops that I might want to like, grab, like that gold one, even though I don't want to grab it, so it doesn't really matter. So yeah. Well, I do know there's at least a good shark down here. Um, so I just got. I'm just gonna try and watch out for that. Uh, I don't know what direction it is. Uh, in, but it's definitely in that like white grass area. But it's definitely not in this main area. It's like sort of a safe entrance, you could say. And also, what is that? 
they're like it's gone now it's like a star thing that was just like roaming along it's so weird oh who knows who knows what that is right so I'm gonna head into these areas now For some reason there's lily paddlers in here. Not really sure why, but there is. I'm gonna scan these grand cotton elements. Uh what the grid is it? Zero. You'd think it'd be more than zero. Well it is Okay, then it literally just did one degrees. Okay, come on, that's just like that's just a good one. Um but there won't be any squid sharks in these tiny caverns that I'm in, like, right now. Because, for a start, they just don't fit, like, they just don't. Um, well, it's over here, this looks, yeah, that, yeah, there'll definitely be, like, a squid shark over here somewhere, uh, if anything. So, I'm gonna hop in the sea truck, actually, over there. Is that a diamond? Yeah. Diamond's just, like, kind of thing that's just passed me now, I don't, excited when I see them. Also, what is that thing? Ugh. That looks disgusting. What is it? A loop plant. I'm going to read that data back now too, just to see what it does. Test your pad. Okay, it's useless then. Um, oh, those things. Right. So that plant right there. That, when you're out of your um, sea truck or prawn suit, will grab you and suck you in like a sarlacc in Star Wars and if you don't, if you haven't watched Star Wars then what are you doing but it's like a sarlacc in Star Wars that thing it'll like grab you and pull you into its mouth so I just need to uh, try and uh, avoid those and keep a good eye out for them uh, just to make sure that I don't accidentally go in there. but when I did come here in my, one of my previous saves because I accidentally stumbled upon this place um, I actually didn't get attacked by any of them because I, I, for a start, I didn't know they existed, but uh, I actually didn't attack by any, which I think was quite lucky. But we're gonna head over here now. I'm gonna get the perimeter defense upgrade. He's not gonna use the speed boost down here. There's almost no point at all. Uh, <laughs> why is that noise? It's like weird. It's like a tra. Okay, I don't even know, but I do have everything I need from here, really. Um, doesn't look like there's a whole lot of anything down there, to be honest. Yeah, it actually looks like there's nothing down there. Okay, just a very, very slow turnaround. And then back. Uh, I might just head straight back to my base, to be honest. There's no point staying in here any longer than I actually need to. Um, because to be honest, I hate this place. It's look at it, it's pretty disgusting actually. Like it's just weird plants everywhere and it's like ugh. Oh look, yeah, you see it? Did you see that? Look at it, it's disgusting. Look at it. It's got like its mouth thing, can I stun it? No. Right, I wanna see if I can punch it with the prawn suit actually, so if I just head over here quickly. Oh, there's another one there. Oh no, okay, right. And the prawn, right. Come here, you. Like, look! What is that thing? Huh? Oh, it's like indestructible. Oh. Okay, that isn't helpful, is it? There's an architect thing there. Right. So, next. Now, what I did. Now, when I first came down here, the, the squid shark was right next to the architect location point thingy. Um, that's where that squid shark was. So, I've just got to keep an eye out for them around that area. Because I'm probably in the head there. Because I do need to start working on the story. As I've basically got maxed out gear at this point, really. Like, I've just not. It's not a whole lot I don't have. Um, so yeah, because in the previous step I didn't have the horsepower or the acceleration 
kind of upgrade. Uh, I didn't have them. Uh, so it'll be down there. Oh, look at these plants. Like they're plants. Like ooh. There's definitely not solicitors down here because actually, this is a good fact. There are less solicitors than there are the Shadow Leviathans, which is actually pretty interesting. I think this is definitely good squid shark territory. So I'm just gonna keep my eyes out. Yeah, as you can see, we're like 500 meters down now. Um, this is, I think, this place goes to the second deepest area in the entire game. I don't know why there's an oxygen plant. Who knows? Here's another oxygen plant. Yeah, but like, like below like 400, really, is where uh, uh, the like, Altera have never gone. Uh, I should probably fix this. Right. Uh, oh. Yeah, uh, the squid shark basically won't pose a threat at this point because it's like almost useless against this thing. What was I just? Uh, right. Okay. But I still don't want it to attack it, really, to be honest. Um, where the heck is... Yeah, look, there it is. It's there. Um, right, where is... The architect thing? Where does Good Shark go, is there? Okay. No, but look at these things. Look at... Ugh, that's disgusting. Like, actually disgusting. You disgusting creature. Get zapped. Hit zap. Ah, it didn't zap. Uh, but anyway, where is this architect thing? Um, where? Oh, it's over there. Oh, it's over there. Right, okay. Okay. Uh, so it looks seems to be over here somewhere. Uh, maybe not actually. Yeah, maybe not. Uh, yeah, just here. Yeah, here we go. Architect of body cash. Here we go. Uh, I might be able to take the prawn soon here. Just, uh, not prawn, CC truck. Yeah, okay. Nice. Oh, some weird stuff in there. Alan should definitely speak to this, so just listen to dialogue if it comes up. Whoa. Can't scan like anything. <gasps> Here we go. Architect component. This is the first thing that we needed to scan. The architect this skeleton, skeleton is very dense, able to handle heavy forces. A good frame for my new form. Are you okay, Alan? It is not often that I gaze upon the form of a foreign architect. Is this place another sort of sanctuary? It's peaceful. Beautiful, even. As the bacterium spread, the continuation of life became uncertain. This is a place to reflect. I think I understand. Do you, though, Robin? Oh, what is this, like, acid thing? Can you get, like, seeds from this? No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, but they, he, he just here. Are the architect's bones? So, yeah, huh? that's quite cool. Um, these just these random like ferns and stuff that are nearly entirely useless, or well, they are entirely useless. Um, so I think I, I actually do know where the other two components of Alan are. So the other one, one of them is down with the shadow leviathans. Of course, it is. Just why wouldn't it be? And another one is with a creature that you I've never mentioned. And never shown you. And something interesting about it—it's on—it's actually on land. Like it's—it's well, it's sort of like it's not really land; it's sort of ice, really. But 
Uh, it burrows through the ice, uh, and then pops up out of the ice and bites your face off. A lot of stuff bites your face off, but it doesn't pop out of ice. Right, time to deal with the squid shark again. There he is, just over there. But I think I just have to cut straight through and just avoid it completely. Well, it looks things indeed. Um, and I think flowering spores actually. I don't think I'll be able to get any more of them. So I think I ran into another lily pad there. Um, but I need to try and grab as many of those as I can. I'm not going to grab them down here because it's a bit too close to the Leviathans to my liking. But I'm going to grab it back in that like main sort of area where I was before. Which seems to be just over here. Indeed it is. So Just one of those plants. I want to see if I can get a scan on it. Right, just in case I do somehow die to this thing, somehow, um, I'm going to save. Because there's a lot of stuff like squid sharks, like Solicera, like the Shadow of the Leviathan, uh, that I just haven't scanned. Because it's almost impossible to get close to that thing without it literally eating you. Okay. As you can see, look, that's like it's attack mode, I think. So get ready for it. Spiky trap. I got it. Nice, I got the scan. Nice. So we can read up on that data bank entry now. So... Uh, yeah, it is. Spiky trap. Highly dangerous kind of all like form. It manages to throw me this mobility. Uh, blends with the terrain. Uh, proximity between tentacles. Uh, can be deadly to oblivious explorers. Pay attention to environments you just present, watching and listening carefully so they may attacks. Yeah. So that's the spiky trap data bank. But I definitely need to start uh, scanning stuff a lot more than I currently am anyway. But wait, 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 wait. Flowering spores. I did not grab any. The glow whale. Oh, glow whales. Cool. I haven't actually scanned these, I don't think, so I might go and quickly do that. Jeez, don't need to get so aggressive, squid sharks. Chill. I'm just trying to meet my friends the glow whale. And but yeah, if you were wondering what's on top of the lily pads by him, it is literally just lily pads. So yeah. Also, what was that noise? Oh, it's a glow whale. Oh. Alright, I'm just going to look out for any... Uh, not squid sharks. Uh, well, to be honest, I kind of do. Right, glow whales don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere, glow whale. Uh, oh, wow, you take a while. Huh? Uh, this is how long it would take like, the shadow leviathan to scan, really. Research glow whale. Nice. So that's something else that I've scanned. That's a lot bigger than I first anticipated. And that's probably, yeah, like I said, that is definitely probably how long it would take the Shadow of Leviathan to scan. Because, you know. And it obviously would be in the herbivores large. Maybe not then. Is it in Leviathans? Oh, it is. Okay. And this is probably where the Shadow Leviathan. Solicera it, and I don't know if Squid Shark would be in there because it's kind of a Leviathan, but then also isn't. It's a big, it's a big debate about it, really. Um, but blimey, essence, uh, glue horns, glue on the paper, something forks, passive herbivores, barnacles, and algae. Okay, that's fine. So that architect body cache, uh, we don't actually need that on anymore. So the body cache, we're going to turn that to a green, meaning that it's completed. Uh, and then we can just turn that off of the thing, so I never have to head back ever again. Nice, so it's time to now head back to... well, I'm really far out actually. But it's time to head back to the Delta Station Dock and then to my base. So, we're going to start off by disconnecting the modules. Pilot sea truck, and I also need to repair this thing because, geez, that is uh, low health. 
Probably because I crashed it into loads of stuff constantly. Uh, right, you get a repair. And once again, just completely going through my power on this repair tool. Right, and what I'm going to do now quickly is I'm going to head up here. And, oh, no, these flowering spores. Hey, you know what, I'm going to have a second one of those then, like, chest crate thingy, uh, lockers, that's the name, I don't know, I don't remember their name. Uh, but uh, I'm going to use them both for resources, like natural, because I think I just, that category is just so big, that really, um, it's not a whole lot you can do about it. Uh, right, uh, I just the on repair. 100%, as it should be. And actually, now we can finally make this thermal reactor, and uh, hopefully, I can test how it works. Uh, speaking of which, actually, I'm going to leave it on 90 battery then, just to see how it works. Because I do need to go to the mining site to grab like I don't know, I don't actually need to, but I'm going to go there anyway just to test it out. Um, maybe to go. I actually don't know where I want to go after this, to be honest. Um, hard to tell. Uh, anyway, I'm going to quickly sleep, because it's night, and no one likes night. Um, uh, then I'm going to grab some food, and then we're going to start work on the um, young cotton anemone farm. Um, now, something I hope doesn't happen is if one young cotton, uh, cotton anemone goes into a big one, because otherwise that just won't be good. Oh, quartz, that's something I actually need to grab a little bit more of. Uh, but anyway, come here, marble melons. I need all of you. Uh, marble melon and marble melon. Nice. Munch, 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 and munch. And munch again, why not? Uh, you can go back, uh, and then I can hit you a couple times. Maybe not then, I don't. Okay, who knows? I've got marble melon uh, seeds anyway, so it's fine. And here, there should be some marble melon seeds. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna take six. I think it's only four. Uh, oh no, it's eight. Okay, I'll grab two more then. Not from in there, but from in here. Uh, why do you have one more? Um, the thing is about the young cotton anemones, they have to be uh, outside, so. Uh, yeah, I have to put them outside. So, I'm gonna grab two, three, four. Uh, I'll grab two more. I'll create a couple more of those. And I'm gonna grab all of these seeds that I've got. All of them. Very nice. Okay, so. So, I'm gonna build them out here on these um, platforms as I did before. So, we need to go to exterior. Just here. All right. Okay, so these exterior grow beds, one of them can go there. Uh, how much? Oh, wait, I, I don't need six at all. I just, I just need one and I can fit all of them on there. Uh, that's fine. Um, yeah, that is just fine, really. I don't need anything else. Um, so, I help back up the ladder. I'm gonna Welcome dump aboard, the rest of the titanium, and then I'm gonna get the stuff I need for this thermal reactor, since I can now finally make it. To start off with, I need a wiring kit, so that is copper, uh, but silver, so I need two of those. And then I'll quickly make the wiring kit, there we go. Then I'll grab the two kyanite from this, no, not that, I need lead actually as well, uh, no, not there. But here, uh, uh, definitely no, not even scratched. Um, it's another polyalien. I still can't say what it is. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six. Since I'm pretty sure it is three per hydrochloric acid. Yes, now we need a salt deposit. Uh, ooh, um, so if I head into here, this end locker here has two gold in it. Right, okay, so now I can actually make this. Uh, ooh, some deployables. Oh, the grav trap. Uses artificial gravity to attract light objects and small creatures. Oh, so that'll probably be good for like getting like fish if you want to, you know. But okay, it'd be just good for getting fish. Uh, but anyway, we've got those two. 
very nice, and now we've got the polyalien. However that is, or whatever that is actually. Right, uh, now we can finally make this prawn suit thermal reactor. That took a while. Um, right, let's go put it in it, and we'll head to the mining site. Uh, and see if that actually recharges it. So you are down here. Access upgrades. Right, you take this. Well, the board, Captain. Right. Um, so we're currently at 90 power. It'll probably go down. Um, since it's only seven degrees, so you know, I'm not expecting it to go uh, up really. But seeing how expensive that thing was, I'd, I'd assume that it. Uh, it's really really powerful. Hopefully it is. Yes, the power's just gone down. We're just entering a sort of heat area now. Okay. It doesn't seem like it's charged yet. Not by the looks of it anyway. Still at 88. Um, I think once we get over to uh, the uh, um, like explosive, fiery, explosionless things. Um, I think that it should work there, as that thing gets up to like a hundred or something degrees. Um, so it will definitely work there. So we just head down. All right, watch the power. Uh, we'll see if it goes up. So, I'll right, we'll see if it goes up. So it's currently 80 degree. Oh, it went up, I think. It's up to 88, 89. Yeah, it just. Oh, wow, that's actually really fast. I know it is 83 degrees, but that's fast. I only have to stay here for like, I don't know, a minute, half a minute. Like, for it to be completely done. Wow, that's pretty fast. Um, have I got anything I haven't scanned any rock rub? It's taking a while to scan that. Rock rub. Okay. Uh, George. Harmless. Can I eat it? No, that's it's entirely pointless. Okay. Wow, these take a while to go off then. Okay. Jeez. Why does it take that long? Anyway, we're heading down here now. Um for some reason. The grapple arm thing is if I had that I just grapple to like one of the sides and it pull me down uh, a lot faster than it is now. And also there's something there. So just another rock rub. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, okay, that's annoying. Uh, okay, so I'm back from the mining site and I left some flowering spores in here. Um, but I've got a bunch of copper and titanium, sort of just a little top up, really. Um, so, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make this grappling arm. So. Why the main thing that I need that's like going to be the hardest thing to get is benzene. Um, what else do you need for benzene actually? So you need. Uh, uh, oh, okay, that's easy. Um, really, really easy actually. So that is the benzene, like instantly. <laughs> so then all I need is the uh, titanium. Oh, not titanium. I put that. Uh, but I need a piece of name now. But I need the advanced wiring kit. So actually, what I need to do is quickly make a copper wire, and then I'm going to put the rest of the copper away, just a small little top up. Go in here and grab the actual wiring kit stuff. So like that. I also need table coral, two of those, uh, and then a piece of gold. So. One, two, and then you two go in there. Then a piece of gold. And then that. Uh, and then all I need is a piece of lithium. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did grab a ton of lithium. Uh, so, the, yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure I do have some left. It is this one. Uh, okay, I do have a little bit, not a huge amount. So, now I can make this. The grappling arm. Uh, right, actually, what I'm gonna quickly do first is grab some marble melons or some fevered peppers to have a munch on. Probably both, actually. So, 
two, two, three. Simple enough. Um, now I'm gonna head over to the. Well, not actually get over there, like into the actual base itself. But I'll head over to like the bit before it. It's where like all of the jelly fish that are disgusting are. Uh, I'm pretty sure I actually need to scan them. Um, as well, so I'm gonna quickly do that. I jelly, and that is like, like they're disgusting. Um, a second here. Yeah. Look, I just think. Oh, look at the eye in there. Like, look at that. That's disgusting. Wait, why is there a danger level? What? Whatever it says, deep water is made of sea. Jelly has just come into the skin. I. When this is not touch. Oh, so they're basically just our jellyfish. And also, are you getting closer to me? I think you are. Back off, son. Uh, right. Anyway. I need to head this way. So I'm gonna park down in this little like crevice gap here because I don't think very many jelly eyes will come down here to be honest, since they probably need a lot of room. So we're gonna hop into the prawn suit now with its new improved fresh heat upgrade thingy. Um, and actually, I need to add in that new arm as well. Uh, so, access upgrades. So, you go in there. And now we can test out this new arm as well. So, well, I just like do that. And then, like, as you can see, it like, grabs on, hooks down, and then, like, goes straight to where you want it. So, if I was just to hook the ground down there, as you can see, it pulls me like, really, really fast towards where I've hooked it. But, anyway. Yeah, as you can see, there's just one literally just there. A huge quartz one. Now, I don't actually know how many of these there are. There might not be a huge amount. Um, but even just a couple, like, that would be fine. Oh, hello! Look what we have here. Some more quartz, I think. Yes, okay. Uh, I'll see you after I literally mind all these because it's probably going to take a while. Okay. Uh, so they're mined up now. But I think if I was literally just to keep heading over in this direction, um, I would reach like what I would probably call the drop off point. Um, and there are literally like no jelly eyes now. Or like eye jelly. Because this is literally where the void is. I think this is it. Can you see where it like sort of just slopes down a ton? That is definitely it. The void. Ominous. And there's void solicitors there, so you know what? I'm turning right around and heading back. Um I don't need any more quartz to be honest. Well I don't think I do. Um but ooh, they're tiny. Look at them. I think they might be eggs. Yeah, they're eggs. Um, but anyway, if you have enjoyed, then please subscribe, because why not? And in the next video, there's like a bridge that is like cutting across up there. Um, and that you need hydrochloric acid to get there. Or to get, like, across it. Um, I'm going to use hydrochloric acid to get over there. And then we're going to get the second part of Alan's body, which might... It's either the tissues, or the... Uh, organs. It's one of the two, but that's when I'll definitely need the snow fox and that creature that I said called the ice worm. It lives. Um, so yeah, um, get ready to meet the ice worm, I guess.